Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you petite friendly ways to style knee-high boots this for winter. So stay tuned. So before we get into the video, I'm going to give you a few tips that will help you find the perfect pair of knee-high boots that will look best on you. Now, I personally find it so frustrating when people just think, oh, you're petite, so that just means that you have small legs. And that could not be further from the truth. Only because we're petite, it doesn't mean that we're all one shape, right? Um, it's super important to know what sort of body type you are. You could be hourglass, you could be pear-shaped, you could be apple, you could be more rectangular. Knowing which one of these you are is super important when it comes to finding the boot that's the most flattering towards your body shape. I do want to start with a disclaimer, I'm not here to tell you what you can and cannot wear um, and I'm not here to like shoot you down. You do you, wear whatever you love, whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'm just giving you a bit of advice on how to maximise how you look and how to really dress the best and most flattering way for your body after many years of trial and errors on my own petite frame. The first look that we have here is a cape that I've paired with a black ruffle skirt, my tights and my Givenchy shark boots. So the shark boot, it's such a beautiful boot, it's actually my favourite boot of all the ones that I own and normally I would say I would stay away from very squarish boots, however there are a few things that make this boot so beautiful and make me love it. First of all, I love the fact that it sits almost just at my knee level. Now normally I don't like it when it sits at this knee just below the knee because I personally have quite wide knees. However, because it's not so tight and it sits, there's a gap between my knee and the boot itself, it actually ends up elongating my leg and this is something you want to look for if you've got a chunkier or wider thigh. The other thing is that because I've got quite slim calves, I like that from the side profile, it's got a slim rectangular look because again, that's elongating the silhouette. So these are small things that you want to be looking for if you are petite. Try stay away from anything that's much further below the knee because it can actually end up making the calf look a lot shorter and a lot stumpier. And obviously if we're trying to elongate the leg, this is not ideal. But overall, I completely love this outfit. I love how the cape works. It looks so elegant, so classy. So you've seen me wearing this without a belt. I definitely prefer it with the belt. It still looks great without the belt. I love the oversized look. However, if I want something that just looks a little bit more tailored and just to elevate the outfit a little bit, it's always nice to have something that shows your shape, right? It doesn't have to be skin tight, but having the belt just means that it gives you a bit more shape, a bit more figure, and it just makes the outfit elevate just a little bit more. And there are small things that I've done as well. For example, matching the belt buckle to the buckle of the shoes. All of those are little details that just help elevate an outfit and just finesse it a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer it with the belt or without the belt? So the next look that we've got are these white stiletto boots and I paired it with a white knit ruffle skirt and a blue knit vest top. I love the knit fabric for autumn fall. I think it's such a great fabric. It's warm, it's cozy and it just looks very stylish as well. Now stiletto boots are one of my favourites for my petite legs and that's because it does a great job of elongating them and just making the leg look a lot longer. I personally find that stiletto boots are great for most petite frames. The only time I would say maybe avoid the stiletto style if it's super pointy is if you're a lot curvier on top because sometimes that can make you look a bit more of like an inverted triangle or if you have larger feet because naturally the stiletto makes your foot look bigger. So if you do have bigger feet then it can make your feet look a lot larger and if you don't like that then that's probably a style that I would recommend that you stay a little bit away from. However, I do still think it looks great on most petite people in terms of elongating the leg 
Again, we're sticking to the rule of keeping the boot sort of at knee level so that we don't shorten the calf. Now the stiletto boot is definitely a lot more of a dressier boot. Um, it, it's a bit more daring, so I do like to make it look a bit more elegant with the outfit that I pair it with and here I find that this is a great day to evening outfit because you've got a bit of a looser skirt in the ruffle shape which is still very elegant and the vest knit jacket. I love how there's a belt on this vest because it really helps cinch in the waist and as I was mentioning earlier, having a belt on petite frames is such a great way of adding shape and dimension and overall this is just such a classy and elegant look. Next up, we've got these brown suede boots and I've paired it with this oversized sort of poncho high neck jumper and a cream ruffle skirt. I love the high neck knit and the ruffle skirt combination. I think it looks very elegant and it's a great day to night outfit. Now, going back to the boots, these are actually some boots that I purchased, I would say about eight years ago now. Um, so this is an example that I wanted to show you to show you how we can really choose our boot choices wisely to flatter our body shapes. So these boots have got a round toe, so automatically you can see how this definitely makes my foot look smaller. So if you have a larger foot, then it's definitely a good option for you. The second thing is it's got a chunkier heel. I still love a chunky heel, but this is why I've opted for a high neck sort of poncho-y top because it balances a lot better. So if you are curvier on top, then I do find that having a chunkier heel will actually look a bit more symmetrical and it ties in better as well. The other thing to mention is that there's quite a bit of ruching with the suede shoe and again that is something that if there's too much of it can make the leg look shorter so that's another thing to be aware of. However, it's still such a great boot, I still love it, I still wear it but it's just something that I wanted to show you how if we compare it to for example the stiletto which elongates the leg, this one definitely has that optical illusion of a little bit of a shorter leg so it's just something to bear in mind when you are picking your boots. Another way to pair these suede boots is with some skinny jeans and I'm wearing the same knit top that I was showing you earlier. So I do love pairing boots with skinny jeans and yay it's a great time to bring the skinny jeans back into our wardrobes. Um, boots and skinny jeans are a great look to elongate the leg. If you're just on the market for one pair of boots I would say choose a stiletto if you prefer a more dressier boot and your outfits tend to be on the dressier side or choose a round toe if you prefer your more casual outfits because it definitely pairs better with casual fits but both are still able to be transitioned from day to night. It definitely comes down to personal preference. Next up we've got these black stiletto boots, another one of my favourites. I feel like I call all my boots my favourites. I just love them, they're my babies. <laughs> but these black boots are truly great because they're slightly over the knee. So as I was mentioning earlier, I do have wider knees. So I love the fact that these can be pulled up slightly over my knee. Um, if you do have a like wider calf, then just try and look for a boot like this that has a lot more stretch. Leather is such a great material for that because it will stretch over time and with wear and it just hugs your own like leg to perfection so it's always good to opt for an actual real leather boot compared to a more plasticky one um, and here I've paired this with a black ruffle skirt and a green jumper so this is such a lovely classy outfit again a great way to wear it during the day and then transition it to night um, and as you can see because it's gone slightly over the knee and I've paired it with the black tights and black skirt it really elongates my leg and that's the effect that we want Plus the stiletto, all of that just makes me look a lot taller, which is great. Not that I don't love my height, I do. But it's nice to have like longer elongated legs, yeah? Um, so yeah, this is how this outfit looks. Another way in which I planned this outfit, which it's a bit too warm right now, but I'm just preparing you for winter, is with my favourite jacket from Charlotte Simone. I love fur and boots and I just... I just love the whole glamorous look. So just with some leggings, again, just elongating that look. And then we've got the fur jacket and a turtleneck jumper. I think this is such a stylish outfit if you're going to be out and about um, and a great outfit to wear outside. 
Now, as I mentioned, I have an hourglass frame, but already, can you see what I was talking about where you can look a bit like an inverted triangle if the top is a lot fuller? So this would also look quite nice with a chunkier boot um, or a chunkier heel as well, because it would just balance that outfit and just give it a bit more symmetry. Next up, we have my black chunky boots. These are probably the boots that I wear the most simply because of how comfortable they are. Um, they are very versatile. Obviously, you've got the boot style, which dresses up any outfit, but because it's a bit more chunky, it's less sort of formal, and it means that you can just wear it in a more casual way. So here I paired it with my off-the-shoulder gray jumper, my gray knit skirt, and my black tights. And I just think it's such a great winter outfit. Um, super cozy, super cute. You can obviously wear some more like opaque thicker tights if you wanted to make it more comfortable and a lot more warmer. But overall, it's just such a lovely outfit. Now, I do have um, feet that are, they're a size 36. They're not big. They're small, obviously, but um, for my figure, they're actually on the larger side. So I was a bit apprehensive in terms of the chunky boot, but I actually really like how they paired. Um, they do look a bit chunky, but this is why I like to wear it with something like leggings or tights just above the boot because it breaks it from um, whatever you've got on top. So it can be a bit more oversized, which tends to match the chunky style a bit better, but it just means that it doesn't look too oversized and it gives it a bit more shape. The only time I would tell you to maybe stay away from this is if you have a lot larger feet but otherwise I think it looks great on a petite frame and if you style it well then yeah it's a very cute and fashionable outfit. And finally since it's fall and prints are in season and on trend I've got these snakeskin boots. Now these were actually bought at the same time as the brown soy bones from earlier we're looking at about eight nine years ago so would I buy them again? Probably not. However, I'm just showing you how it fits into this current season's trends. So because the boots are quite out there, I do think the round toe is a good look for this because it doesn't make it so like bold um, as probably it would look in a stiletto. Um, and because it is quite bold, it means you can go for a more neutral outfit. So I've paired it here with brown suede leggings again, which is sort of trending at the moment, suede and with a white top. Because the white cardigan is quite dressy, it definitely helps the boots look a bit more elevated as well. And as I was mentioning, because we've got the big shoulders, it's nice to have the chunky heel because that just means that it's a lot more symmetrical and it ties in together. But let me know down below, do you guys like printed boots or would you rather have something that's more plain or a different material? So there we have it. We've come to the end of this video. I really hope that you liked this video and found it useful. And I hope I've been able to impart some of my knowledge on you when it comes to finding and purchasing the best sort of knee-high boots for your petite frames. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Do subscribe to my channel as I have plenty more petite styling hacks coming your way. And um, yeah, just follow me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I hope to see you all on my next video. Kisses!